Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. You guys, oh my gosh, it is finally, finally, finally here. I am so, so excited. I rearranged my whole video posting schedule to bring you guys this video sooner rather than later. I did open the box just to make sure what was in the box was what I thought was in the box, and it is. So I didn't even touch anything inside. I just had a peek. So let's open it up. It is finally here. My Christmas order from Planners Anonymous. I am so, so happy and so, so excited. I My what a roller coaster ride the shipping this year normally i'm pretty laid back but wow i i was checking multiple times every day trying to figure out where everything was and it didn't move and didn't move and now it's here yay i was so excited i saw the mailman walk away and i was like oh, did he have a box i think he had a box okay so anyway this is my third melody from planners anonymous classic size melody so um, all their original melodies would fit a mini, a seven disc planner. This one is, it's a little bit more expensive, but oh my gosh, you guys, it is worth it. Look at this beautiful drawstring bag it comes in. Um, wow. So without me going, gushing any further, let's pull it out. I'm going to get the plastic off, but oh, it's so pretty. I went buffalo plaid crazy this year, you guys. Oh my gosh. So... It is set up. You can put um, a ring. Uh, these little holes are so that you can purchase separately a, a ring mechanism that um, like a binder um, or you can use traveler's notebooks strings, which I these do not go to waste. You guys, I'm going to show you um, my setup after I unbox all this stuff. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up. And incidentally, this video is going to be slightly out of order. Um, I, I was so, um, bereft for a while there about it not being here. I just, I couldn't hold off any longer. I finally filmed my December transformer setup and move in. I just really needed to get January in there for future planning stuff. Um, it was driving me nuts not having it in there. So this is actually going to post the day before my December transformer setup and move in. So that one will not actually show this, but that's okay. They're only a day apart, 24 hours apart, so no big deal. So this is the um, Christmas stuff for this year. Um, I, I went ahead, it's called, the, the collection is called Christmas at Home. I don't know if you can see that, Christmas at Home. Um, and I did order dividers, so these are not punched. When you order these, let me get them out of the plastic. I'm gonna get everything out of the plastic so you can see it. Um, you can get, a, you, these are separate, so it's really super flexible. You can get as much or as little as you want or need. You get this set of six dividers. They are not punched, you guys. So if you want to put this on a binder, you can do a three-hole punch. You can do the three and three, the six-hole punch. Um, you can do a disc punch, but these are classic sized. I grab my planner and show you. So right there, they are, they are sized for classic. You can laminate these to make them last longer. You can use colorful boxes to put um, labels on the tabs. Um, there are so many different ways you can use. I have a special big project coming up, um, and but it, it's taking it's a very very long term project. So I will be using these for that. But you could totally set up your own Christmas planner using these. So um, it's got a, a untabbed cover page with the, the buffalo plaid. And since these are different materials, this is. Um, vegan leather or you know whatever pleather whatever that is made out of and this is cardstock so the colors look a little different but i i am not going to let that bother me i think it's adorable so here's your title page you could actually write your name in there or the year if you want to use this as a year specific but there's no tab it's it's a cover page all right and then you have your six tabs so here's the first one and if you um ordered the kit or if you got the digital design kit this is going to look familiar you'll see in my um, transformer setup and move-in video i actually used a digital paper to print and make a um, laminated cover out of this one so backside is the buffalo plaid i i used this particular paper as the backside the poinsettias on black 
Here's the third one. Oh, look at that fireplace and the big stack of presents and the wreath. So pretty. I love it. And this is like a, a I don't know if you could tell, it's a sofa or a couch with a, a table sitting behind it and the buffalo plaid blanket. And then here's a page with just the Christmas presents. Love it. Uh, on like the, the craft paper almost brown background. Jolly, merry Christmas. Love it. So pretty. And then here is a close-up view, like up under the Christmas tree. This is a, this is my cat's eye view. I had a cat. Um, he's no longer with us, but I had a cat years ago. They used to just lay on his back, belly up, under the Christmas tree, and look up at the lights up through the branches. So I imagine this was Ziggy's <laughs> point of view. But there we go. So there, those are the tabs. I'm not going to punch them for now, but. When I do want to use them, or if I wanted to set up a Christmas planner, I would um, just use the Happy Planner Punch to punch these. They're just cardstock. They would work just fine. Um, I got a couple other extra goodies. So these are a couple notepads. This is the one that goes with this year. This is Christmas at Home. So I didn't get them all. There were a whole bunch of different ones. I just got the one I wanted, which is the list pad. And you guys, I could totally use this. So it's it's not a sticky note, it's just a list pad. But this could be, you could tape runner the back of one of these sheets and use it in your planner. Like I could do my filming schedule or something on there in my dashboard planner. How cool would that be? Um, and then this one, this is actually last year's Christmas. Um, it's Deck the Halls. They still had some in stock. So I went ahead and got it as well. This one did not have a melody to go with it, at least not a classic size melody. The classic size melodies are actually relatively new product for Planners Anonymous. Um, and I never thought I would, but so far I have purchased them all. And there's another one coming that I will tell you guys about at the end of the video that I'm sure I will end up purchasing as well. But again, just a list pad. So how cute would these look together on a page in my dashboard? planner for my it's actually each one of them in and of itself I could divide in half and would be long enough for the normal two boxes I would use but so cute oh my gosh so okay so this is last year's this is this year's this one Christmas at home and this one deck the halls and the covers I made I'll show you guys are a combination I have both digital kits um, and I use Canva and I made a set of covers with both of those here is one of the um pockets then that comes this is actually the fierce storage envelope it's called a storage envelope it's all black i didn't get it with fierce but i did go ahead and get it for this one it is again with the vegan leather it's just a pocket with like a almost a felt like interior so i mean you could put your washi tape in there um whatever you want. It's just a little, just a little pocket, but it matched so well with both this and the fierce melody that I have that I couldn't resist. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then here's the washi tape. Um, I think I got all the different washi tapes. So th these are the, these are all the, um, Christmas at home, Planners Anonymous Christmas at home washi tapes. So, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to pause this and get these all open because it takes me forever to open washi tape without breaking a fingernail and I'll be back. Okay guys, so all my washi tapes are open and I have Jasper, my supervisor, is here ready to go. So we're going to, I'm just going to go ahead and put these right in my swatch book. So um, this is, uh, for those of you that are new, oh, he saw something out the window. Okay, this is my swatch book. I have since I last showed this started swatching all of my Simply Gilded washi tape. So I'm up through September. As you can see, I can sit, fit about three kits on a page. So we'll go October, November, December, and then I'll go ahead and do <clears throat> a Christmas page here. So let's go ahead and get these open. So this one is perforated. It is separate uh, like stamps and it's meant to rip at the perforation. I don't know why that extra tape is on there. Let me pull that off the other direction. But I'm just going to run it in my swatch book as one uh, continuous piece. And the reason I do extra long swatches of this is because I want the entire um, repeat on here. So this is just a traveler's notebook that I got from Walmart a while ago. Um, 
actually, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and rip it at this perforation right here. And I'll, oh, let me zoom in for you guys. I was zoomed way out because I wanted you to be able to see everything. But okay, so let's see if we can fit this on one page. But as you can see, these are separate little perforated, see the perforations, stamps. So we're going to fit this right here all on one page before the crease. The seam in the book, it just barely fits. There we go. All right. And then let's do this side. Yep, there's the repeat. Perfect. I can just fit it with the room. I like to write the name of the kit and the release time frame. So for I have it for reference. So when I use it, I can share it with you guys as well. So it'll be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but that's okay. So there we go. Those are that's all the repeat. That's all the different stamps. So it looks like the um, greenery coming out of the top of the stocking. There's that same um, picture we saw on the divider. This one actually looks like you could turn it vertically. It's the Christmas wreath, a lovely little stack of books. This one's the fireplace. Yep, this one's a vertical one too with the stocking. Mary, and then this looks like the top of a gift, the, the bow on the top of a gift, so it could go either direction. All right, then there's this little two pack. Uh, so this one I will, I, I will roll about over to here so I leave myself room to write. So I'm just going to use my artist's palette knife to help get me started. So this one does have a right side up and an upside down. See the little bow? So that tells me the direction. And again, these are all a la carte, if you will. So you can order all of them. You can order one of them, none of them. It's entirely up to you what catches your eye and what you want. Okay, and then it came in a two pack with this one, which is just the gold foil hearts on the buffalo plaid. And I obviously I don't need to roll out that much washi tape, but I like to. And then this is the second. So this is that scene where you're up under the Christmas tree. And again, it's got a right side up and an upside down because of the bow, the directionality of the bow. So let's roll these two out. And you guys, I didn't realize this green one has a really subtle stripe to it, like a light and a dark stripe. See it there? So there we go. Um, I will probably then save the rest of this space maybe for next year's Christmas um, set. So, and I'll just write Christmas at home um, and it'll be 2021. I won't put the month because the month really doesn't matter. It's Christmas. So there we go. That's all the washi tapes. Um, the two notepads that I got, there were more notepads and other things, but those are the ones I got. Um, that's pretty much it for the Christmas stuff. So let's move in now to the second part of the video where I want to show you how I'm going to put my planner inside the melody. So I, I actually skipped, I didn't show you everything. So it's got on the back, there's this great big pocket that goes all the way I mean, it comes all the way down, you guys. It comes all the way to, to the stitching. So it's a huge pocket. You could fit a Happy Planner sticker book in there. It's it's gigantic. I um, mean, inside then is this elastic um, little belt, if you will, and the mad magnetic closure. Oh, it's just magnetic. I just got to get it lined up right because there's nothing in it. It doesn't. It's hard to see where it should line up. But there we go. Easy peasy. Let me zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. That's why I was zoomed out. There we go. So gorgeous um, printing on the front that matches everything. And then you guys, so many pockets. Oh my gosh. And look at this printing in here, this detail in here. So cute. So pocket, big full-size pocket, big full-size pocket. And then it's got this gorgeous, these diagonal pockets. This one goes down to here, I can feel. This one goes to the same place and then these two go to the very bottom so and then over here again huge pocket huge pocket so the way so here is my my transformer planner I have four planners in here this most of this artwork a lot of this artwork is from last year's kit um, but then there you'll see this matches the one divider um, where is it 
So the second, I think, yep, there. That is the digital paper that matches this divider. Um, and then the back planner, back cover of this I made is reversible. So this is last year's artwork. But then there, see that? That is the same artwork as another one of these tabs. So that is this year's artwork. Um, there we go, right there. So the digital kit includes these digital papers. You can print as many of these as you want. You can make more tabs if you want um, because I think all of these were part of the digital paper, the papers in the digital kit. So um, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is a little trick that I figured out. So this is sized, this back pocket is sized for a happy planner cover to fit in there. So what I like to do only a teeny little bit sticks out. What I like to do, it's a very, very tight fit. So what I like to do is just take an old cover that I never plan on using. In this particular case, I did pick one on purpose that was black. It's upside down like this, but this isn't gonna show, so it doesn't really matter. So what I like to do is slide this all the way in. It takes a bit and then just leave it. So when I'm done, come January, whenever I move out of this planner, I will leave this cover in it because like I said, it is so hard to get in and out. I'm just gonna leave it in here. And that is all the way in. It's all the way to the edge here and I'm just gonna leave it. So it's gonna do a couple things. It's gonna help keep this nice and straight and flat, um, even stored on my shelf so it won't like curl and curve down. It's just gonna keep it nice and flat and rigid. Um, and then the other thing is then whether you use a transformer planner or, or not, you can just take your planner and pop it in and out as many times as you want with this cover here permanently installed as part of the um, cover. So I'm just popping that cover onto my discs, onto my planner. Now as a transformer planner then, it makes it easier for me to pull it out and flip to a different section and put it back in, although I, I rarely do that. But there we go. So this is, and my planner is on expander discs. So you can see how fat it is. You guys, there is so much room. I mean, it's not too much room, but there we go. Easily fits even on expander discs in there. No problem at all. So that is step one. There is my planner, um, all my different covers, my cat lady stuff. Okay, so let me show you a couple other goodies. This is um, a pen. This is from a kit love bug, I believe, but it's, it's red and black with red and black gems. So I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but there is a pen loop here in the back. So I usually pick a coordinating pen out of my stash because I don't regularly use these um, and just leave it with the the um, cover, the melody. So there we go. So can I, you guys, can you imagine going to a planner meetup and just grabbing this all set up and going a Christmas planner meetup or, or whatever it is, even if it's just coffee with your friends. Oh my gosh, they'll be drooling you guys. Okay. Um, next thing I want to put in my, um, my list pads. So these can go, you can just do the back or like the back half, and these fit easily in these pockets right here. Look how cute. And since this pocket isn't as deep, let's try just, it's too wide for both of them, um, but you could, I could use either one. They both look gorgeous in, in here. I'm just gonna do the one because it's gonna overlap, I think. Yeah, I mean, that works too. You know, I could have both of them in here. Look at that, how cute is that? That's all the way in. There we go, okay, we're gonna leave it for now. Okay, so let me show you how to attach a charm to this. So these strings that are in here, they go all the way through the outside, to the outside of the cover. So those are gonna be perfect. See, there's two loops there and there's two loops here. So these are perfect attachment points if you wanna do a Christmas charm, which I do have one. So this is a charm. I made myself, um, I used to do all kinds of crafts, you guys. Um, and I make these, uh, if you were lucky enough to sit at my my table at the last planner meetup I went to, uh, which was Candy Shop down in Portland, Oregon, 
in, I think it was October. It was definitely 2019. It was fall of 2019, I think October. Um, this was my, I made a bunch of these with different candies and stuff. This was my gift to my table mates. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach this. But I made this myself. I taught myself jewelry making and chain mail a long time ago. And uh, But if you get one of these, you can get one of these off of Etsy. You can make one yourself. Um, lots of different places to get these. So mine, I use um, a little string, but it also has the hook. So you can, the, the lo little lobster claw hook there, you can just hook this directly on here with that hook and you don't need the string. I like to be able to get mine out from under the cover so that um, for photos and everything, it actually will lay completely flat. With this little lobster claw hook, um, sometimes the first bead doesn't quite clear the cover, so I like to have the string. So all I'm going to do, let's take the claw, let's take the claw off just really quickly. I'll show you how, guys how I'm going to put this through there. Okay, so there, if I wanted to, I could just attach it right there with the claw. I am going to lift up this little string, just get my tweezers under there, and put the loop under. Oops like so. And then you just take that the end and pull it through, feed it through the loop. So there's my loop under the elastic string. And then I just take going and going up through the loop. And I'm just going to pull this end through. There we go. Now it's attached. Okay, and now, now I can reattach my little lobster claw there. There we go. So now I got my planner charm on there. It's got all kinds of little goodies. It's got Christmas tree and the little buffalo plaid charm there. It's got a gingerbread man. This is just a button that I glued on to a little hasp there. I clipped the back off. Um, it's got a little red kitty cat. It's got a green Christmas light. So the peppermint. I love peppermint. It's my favorite candy cane. Peppermint candy cane ice cream is my absolute favorite ice cream of all time, all year round. So, okay, so I got my charm on there. Um, another thing I like to put on there are, in here are, these are just um, thick acetate cards. These are actually from, both from Planners Anonymous as well, one of the earlier kits, but I just think they're so pretty. I like to kind of keep them in there for a little bit of sparkle. Um, they go with, since they're clear and just um, rainbow holographic, they, they go with just about any of these. Um, this one's actually cut diagonal because the pockets to echo the theme of the diagonal cut on the pocket. So just so pretty. But you can put washi tape around here. Um, I think these are, at least this one is considered a washi tape card. I don't know what you would put on that one. Um, okay, my next goodie I want to show you well, first of all, let me show you how you could attach this envelope. So let's say I'm going um, away for a couple days and I just want to take a, a, a setup of stuff. Um, this envelope, let's go ahead and we're going to throw all five rolls of washi in there. So I have all my Christmas washi, all my Christmas goodies. I want to take those all with me. So um, now before I snap it shut, what I can do is put it through a couple of these strings or all of the strings. I went ahead and put it through all the strings, but, and then snap it shut. And now it's kind of attached there. It makes it a little awkward to actually use your planner, but for travel purposes, it's gonna, it's gonna stay in there and you still have, look at this, tons of room, easy peasy to close it. So for, so for travel purposes, having everything in one kit, that works great. Um, I'm actually going to take it off of and just going to put it, since it's a little bit of weight, um, I don't want to take it off of all the strings. So, and I think I want to flip it over like this. So I'm going to put it on the outer two strings, the leftmost two strings and snap it shut. And then the other thing I want to show you is, okay, you guys know how much I love Simply Gilded. Look at this. This is an album from Simply Gilded. Look how well it matches. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, the colors are a little different, but again, vegan leather. It's got all these pages, so you can put tons and tons of stickers in here. Um, you can put another charm on here if you want. No pockets on the outside, but I just, I was like, holy cow, that's going to match exactly. So, and again, now 
you can snap this shut around the strings or with this, uh oh, and my, my little knot just came undone. <laughs> so left to, for a square knot, go left over right and then go right over left. And that does a square knot, which in theory will not easily pull loose. There we go. Okay. So for this one, then I'm going to go to the center part here where the rivets are, and I'm going to slide the entire thing through those other two strings, those back two strings that I didn't use. And there we go. Snap it shut. Now I got that in there so I can throw even more stickers and stuff in there and look at still. So this can go in a suitcase. It can go in a backpack. I mean, obviously you're not going to take it to work every day. Maybe you would take it to work every day with you. It's a little bit big and bulky for that, but oh my gosh, you guys, everything is in there. Everything is in there so easily with so much room still to go. <coughs> so these are the stickers from last year's Christmas. And this is again, another, this actually, this little thing, um, this is from the, I believe this is the Northern Lights kit and it looks like it, it goes maybe with these, but, um, I could theoretically take these stickers out and put them in here and just have everything all, all coordinated. So, and then of course, if Simply Gilded came out with, um, an album and they have a smaller size album, I always get the bigger size album, but they of course have the matching Buffalo plaid washi tape. So I would be silly not to go ahead and bring this along too. Um, but oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff crammed in here. You guys, you just, I can't even believe it. So there's two more rolls of washi tape totally fit in there. No problem. And then one last thing I want to show you and we'll be done. Um, oh, lay down flat. There we go. I want to come and sh just show you in the back here. So this pocket, I mean, you got to take a sticker book, right? Look at this fits in this pocket. Um, my planner's a little bit in the way, but it does fit in there pretty easy. I mean, the planner was in the way, but it went in there easy peasy. No problem. Happy planner sticker book too. So look at all the stuff I have crammed in here. You guys, I could put more, another sticker book or two up front here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. So there you go. There is my <laughs> really, really fat, but that's just temporary. So once I get to my destination, say I'm going to, uh, planner meetup. I can take this stuff out so I can more easily work with everything. And heck I can take, since I put that back, um, that back planner, extra spare planner cover in here, I can pull my whole planner out if I want to, um, to work with it. So there we go. There is my Christmas at home, uh, classic size melody setup for Christmas 2021. I hope you like this video. Um, I hope it gets you excited as well for Christmas and don't be bummed if your stuff is coming late, better late than never, you know, first world problems, right? At least we can get this stuff. So, um, have a great holiday, you guys, whatever holiday you're celebrating. And, um, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.